Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler, and let's get at this right away. And so we're going to look at an offensive play from the game against the Jets, and this is going to highlight uh, Devontae Adams and what you liked about mm -hmm. him on this route, and I think this is going to show also the trust that Aaron Rodgers yeah. has in him. Um, I'll set up the defense and then you can okay. go from there. So the Jets are in a blitz look. They've got basically six guys up here. Yep. These are the two middle linebackers. And what they end up doing is a six-man rush, but they end up bringing this cornerback here mm -hmm. who, um, along with David Harris, comes in here. Yep. <laughs> Dewan Harris tries to make Trying a block, but doesn't really get much of a block, and Rodgers yeah. has to escape. We got a little bit of a um, zone look there. Randall Cobb comes here and stops, and so the rest of the guys just come in. Um, Corliss ran this route here, and this guy kind of followed him. So yeah. tell me what you liked about what Adams did on this play and, and uh, how it developed. Well, the first thing Aaron tried to do was with his receivers on the front side, the front side is his favorite side, to say, listen, if to Devontae gives him kind of a touch his knee a little bit, say, listen, right. if you get a six-man pressure, cut this right off. I don't care what route you got going. It could be a nine, eight, seven, doesn't matter. You're going to have to hit this uh, slant area, and I'm going to throw it to a spot. So when they bring this pressure, they got more than the Packers can block. So these guys, one of these other guys drop off too, but it doesn't matter. You got a guy screaming right here, and you got a big linebacker on one of your smallest uh, running backs. Aaron does a great job of moving off of his spot. And the good thing about this that I really like with Devontae Adams, he came up and separated and made a great move right here. And this corner got a little overextended. So, so he, he created really liked, the separation. He really liked, you know, there was such a yeah, good move that he stumbled. A lot of uh, young receivers, they, they, they're too high, they get overextended, and sometimes they, they keep this route a little bit upfield, and next thing you know, they're out of whack. Now this safety here, he came over here to cover Cobb, who was open. Who was wide open. He was wide open. Right. Now this guy goes to the middle, and Aaron hit a, Threw a great ball to him right here, and he took it down there to like the five yard line. So it's, it shows that a veteran quarterback trusts a rookie receiver. More, well, and more than he trusted Randall Cobb, because Randall Cobb was wide open. Oh, that he, got the matchup you would like a safety on, on Randall Cobb. On yeah, safety. if this safety has to come up and cover yeah. him, he spins and maybe That's he could goes. Be a but, yeah. you know, no, he also got flushed a little bit. He to got the flushed right. this way with the pressure. But he could have gone, if he saw this, he could have gone right. But to he Cobb. gave him the signal, though. Right, right. So, pre, you know, already in his mind, pre, I'm going to go to this kid if he's available. Now, what will happen? If he's not available, this one, this would happen. This pro football, say he doesn't get all hung up and he doesn't make it, right? right? Yeah. And it's Aaron's head next time, uh -huh. he's gonna just go to Quarles. Now you're gonna look at him. Right. He could be wide open when he look. I don't trust you. You gotta go because remember, I'm getting pressure. You gotta get off, which he did great. Maybe he's getting some good coach from Edgar Bennett. <laughs> I think that's what happens. <laughs> great feet though. Yeah. Great feet. Remember now in college, he caught more passes than anybody. Yeah. So I think he understands I have to separate. He had seven targets. Cobb had six. So he actually had more targets than Cobb. Yeah. Um, one last thing. You and I kind of agree with you here is, you know, he sort of yeah. spread it out this way. And then if he got a just taken it upfield, he might have scored. He might have scored. But, you know. Yeah. And he'll learn that, that when pressure's coming, split the pressure, don't go to the pressure. And that's yeah. just something you have to learn. Because I think now they're going to start to get, get him more acclimated with their offense. He's going to see the ball more. Oh, no yeah. question. Okay. We'll be back with the next play. Okay. Well, we, we've had our criticisms of the Packers' defense, and mm. we're going to actually show a play where this is how it should work. Textbook. And this is, the, um, is going to show the talents of – Julius Peppers and how they're going to use him. And, and this is the kind of play mm -hmm. that, you know, he has to continue to make. Um, so they, the Jets are in a three wide receiver set. And I'll just show you what happened on this side, which is the Packers have a blitz on here. And they're mm -hmm. sending Matthews and Hawk. And they're also sending Tremont Williams, who gets right through unblocked, forcing 
Geno Smith yep. kind of move. Mm -hmm. um, we're here, and the tight end comes in here, and this guy comes in here. So right. why don't you tell us what, what actually happens? And what happens here. is you got uh, Julius Peppers here, you know, playing outside linebacker, really, is what we call a peel technique. And he's going to peel off the, the uh, back, which was Chris Johnson. Who can that, run. Who can really run. He came off and ran like a wheel route, like that. Well, Peppers was thinking, well, he comes out. I got him. Whatever route he runs outside. So he did a great job right here, Tom. And he kind of wheeled route with him and almost got a, well, he got a pass breakup, but he could have intercepted He's, the ball. Yeah, he had a I chance. I mean, he got a guy 6'7 seven seven on a guy like six feet. <laughs> That it was just a great – if he doesn't peel, that's a touchdown. Yeah. But that's the way you play defense. You sign, you bring your pressure to one side, but on the front side, everybody got to be sound. This guy has to be sound, and you got to make sure your defensive lineman or your linebacker has to peel on that back, or you're going to get that play like Powell wide open right. when he's in the backfield. So this is the proper way to play it. Yeah, this is a four-man front look because right. Peppers was up – up on the line. Yep. And so they're looking at a four-man pressure, and, you know, Capers floods this side, and right. he's banking on Peppers covering yep. this guy. He's got to cover that guy. Absolutely. There is no other way. If it's not, <laughs> like I said, it's a touchdown. A lot of teams, the guy will step up to help with, uh, come over here to try to pick up Tremont. Mm -hmm. Now Peppers can go. He can go to the quarterback. His guy, no peel technique because he left. Because if he steps over here, to block like that, okay, now you can go after the quarterback. But if he does anything outside, you got him. And, and the thing about this, which, which is so head-scratching, is that everybody did their job exactly right. Lattimore dropped to yep. take this tight end. Burnett was, came to double that yep. tight end. It was proper you rotation. Know, he came and yep. rotated to, to get this guy. Yep. Shields came and covered this guy. <laughs> it's like, this is how it's going to look, Tom. I'm thinking about week seven or eight. You nine. hope. They're gonna to start to ascend. It's not yeah. that hard. I, you know, they. Yeah. It just seems like sometimes, you know, we we saw in the game, they gave up a 37-yard option when they right. had, Jets had 10 guys on the field. The Jets had 10 guys. You yeah. know, we saw yeah. a play where you know they're halfs playing zone and mm -hmm. halfs playing man. You know, yeah. That stuff has to really be cleaned up. You would think some of it be in training camp, but it's hard when you put in a new system because we went through a system like that in the 90s. But we got it, like I say, like seven or eight. This team is going to be flying around. They can be a top 15 defense. And now that puts you in the conversation of going deep in the playoffs. We'll see about that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They have a ways to go. But yep. at least you get an idea of what it looks like when, when they right. actually <laughs> do it right. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for yeah. joining us. And we will see you next week after the Detroit game. Yep.